you know, sometimes the world just throws you a bone and, and you're just like, this is just meant to be, right? So I literally just shot a video where I said, I'm going to expand beyond MMA because MMA is a little bit limiting. I have a lot of thoughts on a lot of different topics and I, like I'll continue to do just as much MMA content, but I got to talk about other things, man. I have opinions on everything, a lot of shit going on, you know, really. And, and I, I genuinely believe that the world could benefit from someone who is talking about them, who is not a Republican or a Democrat, because I can decipher this stuff and then potentially make it digestible to people who don't understand these things. And I'm looking for like the right crossover, the right crossover video. And literally, like I just said this on a video I just recorded and I get a notification that's like, who is Jorge Masvidal voting for in 2020? And I was like, so I, and I click on it and I'm like, oh my gosh, the perfect crossover video. Cause I can be talking about Jorge Masvidal. And then I can also talk about a lot of current events. Perfect. Thank you, Jorge. Another reason that he's one of my absolute favorite guys. So here's the deal. So I had suspicions about uh, who Jorge was going to vote for, who he supports based on things he had tweeted, etc. He wasn't really hiding the ball anyway. Uh, but the bottom line is this. I hadn't really thought about why, you know, I knew he lived with Colby for a long time, you know, whether they're still best friends or they hate each other, you know, <laughs> who knows? It's kind of irrelevant, but we know that they live together for a very long time. I don't think Colby is uh, hiding the ball on who he supports, right? So, you know, that at the very least that, uh, Jorge had been exposed to the ideas that, uh, you know, that side of the fence, you know, promotes or whatnot. But then when Jorge just explained that he is going to vote for Trump and he explained why I was like, Oh, it's so much more obvious than he lived with Colby Covington. Like, you know, and not that like, not that Jorge seems like a, uh, a guy who can't make his mind up for himself or he needs like, you know, he needs a MAGA kid to explain to him the, you know, the wonders of the Republican party. Like he's, he looks like a guy who kind of makes up his own mind. But the reason that he's on that side is much better than any other possibility actually. And I'll give you guys an opportunity to think for yourself. Why do you think that it's completely obvious that Jorge Masvidal is a Republican? Ready? Or that he would never vote for the left wing. Think. Why? Where does he live? Miami, right? Where is he from? Mm, or where's his dad from? Oh, well, who's his who's his moniker, right? Who's he who's he come out dressed as? Whose music does he use? Think about the theme of that movie, right? Scarface, Tony Montana. Where is he from? Cuba. He's a refugee from Cuba, from communist Cuba. Jorge Masvidal's dad. Same deal. Okay. So Jorge Masvidal, this, uh, you know, what, a, what an actual communist country looks like, not a mystery to him. He's been listening to that story from his dad his entire life. And he knows what many other people have been talking about a lot recently, because these people who are the really far left that are, that are tearing down, you know, tearing down statues, taking over city blocks in, in major cities, they are, they are doing it under the, under the flag of anti-racism. But if you look just a little bit under the hood, you're like, cause so most people don't, this is the thing. Most people don't pay attention. Hang on. Let me come back to that. Actually, just under the hood, what they're saying is they're Marxists. Okay. Marxists is a communist. They are communists. They are openly saying this. They're like, I'm a communist. Yes. That is what I believe in. I'm a communist understandable if you don't pay attention to history or you're really young and so you don't own any property and you haven't really even entered the world you don't have a job you don't have any freedom you don't have a family you don't have things you need to think about except for wow wouldn't it be amazing if there wasn't this capitalist thing that seems to be crushing everyone right it seems like it seems like capitalism so unfair look at how wealthy they are and look at how this person is, is living you know it's not fair too much disparity let's be communists okay that makes perfect sense if you're 20 years old 21 22 years old whatever and you haven't really grasped what communism really is and how it manifests itself over a, you know, over a society, right? But that is directly what these people are saying that they, the, the, like, this is what they want, right? And they figured out this genius plan, which is to partner with or be Black Lives Matter slash anti-racist, right? They're like, we are the most anti-racist group ever. So what they do when they do that is they make it to where if you oppose them, that puts you in the camp of racist, even though their policies are like directly racist, right? If you go into the Chaz, they had segregated, segregated like farming communities and they had segregated areas where it's like, this is for people of color only. And you're like, I'm pretty sure that the civil rights movement was all about getting rid of that. And, and somehow in their minds, it's a good thing because it's the people of color who are asking for it 
because in their world there is there's this racial hierarchy but they flipped it right so like they they flip so you know historically it was like obviously you know white people kind of controlled the country and definitely definitely kept our our i'm not gonna say our because i wasn't a part of it but they kept their boot on black people's neck and they i mean that's just a historical fact anybody who denies that is wrong okay wrong like we we made it impossible for black people to advance in many cases in this country okay that's not the case anymore but the conditions that they find themselves in are the result of historical things that happen plain and simple right so these people's these people's solution to that is oh well let's just create a completely new society we'll tear down the old site they're, they're not even they're not even making this a secret they're directly saying let's tear down the current system that we have and we'll we'll rebuild one and we'll just invert it where the the black people are the ones who, who are in charge they have they have preference on everything and you're like i i thought like i i don't know when i grew up it was like you're supposed to not care what what color anyone is like that's that's how i grew up that's a hundred percent what i believe so i am diametrically opposed to that approach okay separating people into groups is racism any way that you any way that you look at it i can't i can't get behind any of it right so jorge his dad came from cuba where they had taken everyone's private private property right like you own a home right you you own your home you you have a job that you chose to do you know, all of these things that you that you take for granted here, that where the choices that you make dictate your life, okay? Oh, well, Castro went and took over, and then all of a sudden, your home's not your home. Now it's the government's home. Oh, your job? Mm, I don't know. We think maybe you'd be better at, uh, you know, cleaning fishing boats, okay? That's what you do now. You're like, I'm a radio host. They're like, no, you're not. Well, no, you're not. And as a matter of fact, we didn't really like what you were saying on the radio. So first, you're going to go to this internment camp for about two months, and we're going to beat the shit out of you, and then we're going to re-educate you so that you see this is the correct way to live. And then after we've decided that you're sufficiently brainwashed, you're going to go back to that house, maybe that house, actually, probably not that house, probably we're going to give you a different house, and or an apartment, just kind of whatever we decide, whatever we decide that you should live in. And being that you didn't really see our way of life, we're actually going to give you a much smaller, much less desirable home than the one that you worked for and bought. We're going to put you there, and then you're going to clean boats. And that's what you're going to do for the rest of your life. You're going to clean boats. And you're like, well, what if, what if I don't want to clean boats? What if, I, what if I, I would prefer to talk on the radio? They're like, that'll never happen ever again. You have no, absolutely not. That will not happen. But we're going to make sure that you have, you have food and you have shelter. You'll have food and shelter. But then you have to do exactly what the government asks you to do because otherwise you're a dissident and then you know if the gulag doesn't work then we'll kill you plain and simple so jail gulag or clean boats for the rest of your life and you know we'll give you a place to live and we'll give you some food which i mean that's that's what we're doing because because of the poor because there's because because there, there's a disparity between the rich and the poor so now we're going to make everyone poor right and the government owns everything and so we decide what people get. That is exactly what communism actually is. Okay, that's not, that's not an exaggeration. That is, by definition, exactly what it is. So it's not rocket science why people who are just coming out of college, who don't have a job, who don't own anything, who have no idea what they want to do with their life because basically their entire life they've been, you know, given this idea that the world owes them a favor and the idea of having to get out in the world and work to, to get anything, that's, that's not gonna work for them. So you, you build this anti-racism thing where now you have an excuse for why they wouldn't succeed if they did even try because the system is stacked against them. You give them this ideology that in one way or another, like, in, you know, they don't understand this. Like the way that I just laid this out, that's not the way they see it, right? Like they see it as everyone gets food, everyone gets shelter, everyone is equal. Don't you get it? Everyone's equal, there's no more disparity. And you're like, Oh, okay, so you're going to make everyone the absolute bottom denominator because so so these uh, these people who who have this you know horrible horrible you know poverty impoverished life now what does their life look like? Well, they live in a they live in these these really these really bad places that, that are gross and they go to a job that they hate and they they have to do it because they have to because they have kids and they have to go do this job that they cannot stand and they live in this piece of shit house and you're like. Well, geez, that sounds an awful lot like what the the outcome for everyone will be then, right? Like, so so instead of let's figure out a way inside of the, the society we already have to bring those people up, your solution is to bring the entire society down, right? 
Now, of course, you guys, you know, being the ones who are the arbiters of this, this new movement, I'm sure you guys will get all the, all the great houses, right? So, so you guys take over, you, you decide what everyone's going to do. Somehow you guys end up with all the nicest houses and you end up with all the nicest food because, you know, you guys are the ones who are, who are reshaping society. And, and then you just basically do whatever you want. And anyone who disagrees with you, you put them in jail or you, uh, you know, put them against the wall. But that seems like a good deal for you. Sounds a lot easier than actually going out and getting a job, right? Like going out and getting a job and then working hard and saving money and then retiring at some point. Like that, that sounds a lot harder than tear down, tear down statues, destroy the country and then rebuild it how, how we want it and we're in charge, right? So the point I'm really trying to make here is that is not a Democrat thing. It's not a Republican thing. That is why these people who are the believers in this, you have a, like, just as a perfect example, you have the Chaz, right? The, the, you know, the, whatever the Chaz in, in Seattle, where they took over the six blocks, the mayor of Seattle completely supported them, like completely supported them. They were like, you know what? We, we understand it's the voice of, it's the voice of the people. And, you know, we're going to pull all the police out. We're just going to let them do it because they don't, whatever they like they because they, they they did this under the guise of police brutality right because of george floyd horrible situation but what the hell does that have to do with this it has nothing to do with it right so they they pretend like it does so they pull all the police out they take over a six block area and then shootings start right like so now there's been like five murders there in the last like week okay and so she says that she is you know she needs everyone to leave so what do they do what do they do they, they go up and they, they, they basically storm her actual residential home, right? So she was like, she completely supported them. She, she, she completely supported them until people started getting shot and killed. And she's like, okay, guys, enough. And they're like, enough. It's never enough. Okay, she's a Democrat. She's as Democrat as you're going to get. Being Democrat, irrelevant. Being Republican, irrelevant. Like everyone is their enemy unless you support complete and total destruction of the system and then rebuilt as a communist or socialist society that that is what they are trying to do if you guys do not understand that like there's there's they're, they're not making this a secret like they are directly saying this like completely directly now you won't see that on cnn or msnbc because they like the idea of you know the the country's in chaos and it's because of racism and donald trump is the bad guy and whatever and again i'm not a democrat or a republican i'm just telling you that if you only are looking at mainstream media they are they are not they're not even saying what these people's actual demands are and, and i'm not getting this from like fox news i don't i don't watch fox news i don't watch cnn i don't watch msnbc i'm just telling you objectively if you go and you look and like they're like oh here are our demands and you look at what the demands are and you're like geez and then you have like someone as a matter of fact, actually, I take that back. Uh, there, there was on CNN because the, the New York leader of Black Lives Matter went on CNN and directly said this. He said that they're, they're just, they're, they want to tear the system down. Okay. So Jorge Masvidal's family comes from an area where the system got torn down, rebuilt communists. And so he's like, yeah, anything that even resembles that, I'm not voting for it. Right. Now, if it sounds like I'm telling you I'm going to vote for Donald Trump, I'm not saying that at all. Okay. I'm not, I have no idea what I'm going to do, to be honest with you, because obviously I understand this, but I'm not convinced necessarily that like this movement is actually strong enough to like overthrow the government. Right. And, you know, with John Bolton, who just like every person who's ever worked for Trump has like on the, on the world stage comes out and they're like, he, he does not listen to us. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's not reading briefs, etc. That's very scary to me. And that's actually exactly what I was interpreting him as doing. But it's really tough because I I am terrified of those people. Like if you really think of the worst case scenario for me, the worst case scenario for me is somehow these Marxists win, right? Like they win because if they ever win, I'm in a gulag or dead immediately. I mean, literally like immediately. And I know that that sounds like hyperbolic. It's not. Okay. Everything I've ever said is in some database somewhere related to my social media. This video that I just am putting up right now is is a death sentence for me if they ever really took over or at the very least i would be in an internment camp or like a gulag i mean plain and simple that is how that works so yeah that's worst case scenario for me <laughs> obviously now do i think they're going to be able to overthrow the government unlikely but there's a lot of them and there's uh, and everyone is terrified to push back because they think that like you know, there's like this world dichotomy of like republican and democrat and they have somehow put themselves on the left to where democrats think that pushing back against that like having them take all private property, which is what they're trying to do, is is pushing back against anti-racism. It's like, dude, 
this is like we all agree like we all agree that racism is a problem everyone like but what they're talking about has nothing to do with that literally has nothing to do with it at all right now if we really want to get deep on this conversation we could talk about how automation is probably going to put everyone out of work you know over the next 10 to 20 years and we might have to do this like we actually might have to do it and that's a you know if we do have to go to some kind of structure like that because there's just not work for people it can't be done by a group of revolutionary ideologues it needs to be a collective level-headed group of people that are like listen okay the way that we've run our society is not going to work anymore okay trucks drive themselves plants run themselves all you know food production is all automated ai we don't need human labor like we used to the services industry can only support you know a third of the population we do not have jobs for everyone okay we need to restructure society and that is a conversation that i'm certainly willing to have and to contribute to because it's mandatory like we don't have a choice the world has changed but if people over here who think that reinstituting segregation is a good idea if they're in charge like i mean there's you know you can you can create a socialist society and you could create a socialist society and the two things will not even in any way mirror each other because who sets it up is completely going to dictate how it works right so anyway jorge masvidal voting for trump because he is staunchly against socialist plain and simple you know all that will give you stuff for free it's a it's a trap man it is a trap that's not how it works you if you want things for free there's nothing for free you have to give up your freedom to get the things for free i mean it's just it's this is not like a republican thing this is just a fact right like this is how it works venezuela right cuba soviet union these are not places where the information is unavailable you, all you have to do is just go look it up. Be like, what was it like to live in the Soviet Union during communism? What was your life like? Who, like, what choices did you have? Someone gives you a job, like, do you have the ability to switch a job? Do you have the ability to make any choices on your own? And if you're in government, do you have the ability to tell the truth if the truth is uh, a counter narrative to this is a perfect utopia that everyone is very happy in? Because the answer is no. Okay, that's... I mean, go watch go watch some, the show Chernobyl. Watch how they handled that, right? The worst the worst uh, you know nuclear meltdown in history, and just look at how they had to handle that, and just because of the you know the the Soviet utopia that you just can't tell the truth about anything if it counters. It's like it is the death of truth in that in that environment, and I am not down with that, man. I am not down with that at all. So yeah, that's what I got. Like I said, I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat, but. Uh, I'm, I'm with Jorge on that for sure. Anything that uh, that even resembles communism, mm-mm, because I'll be dead. <laughs> or to gulag. Anyway, uh, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. Peace.